Hi guys, Stu here from Oz Industries. Uh, we just had the latest update from official providers that they're declaring a very weak La Nina in the Pacific Ocean. It's just a word of caution with this type of outlook. Again, uh, many will be fooled to think that we're going to see tremendous rains week after week, month after month across the eastern seaboard, uh, the southeast, northern tropics, and you know parts of the eastern interior. By now, you should be well aware that much of the southeast is, is moving into drought-type conditions. Whether they get named or not officially uh, is irrelevant. We're seeing much drier conditions than have been forecast over the last three to six months in the southeast. And seeing that we saw the failure of the spring rains, which was something that we kept telling our members, now we're moving into high fire dangers and catastrophic fire conditions have already been recorded this season already. So just be very cautious with some of the the conversations that we're seeing online, we're predicting this La Nina, uh, and you know, the typical key wording is associated with with high rainfall. Um, there's a few wet events that will occur through the summer period, and that's just how it works. Um, but we won't see extensive rainfall across the eastern states, especially the southeast. So, for those in the southeast, you should be well aware now that you should have a firefighting plan in place for the next three to three months plus. Uh, I expect fire seasons to extend well into March for the southeast. That, that includes New South Wales, parts of Victoria, possibly southern Queensland. Um, and then we'll see that dry transition into the southern growing season. So it'll have a double-edged effect where the, the, the spring and summer rains won't, won't arrive. And that'll build up to an even worse fire season moving into the end of the next uh, coming spring of 2026. This is something we've been talking about now for, for many months with our members that this, you know, the spring range wouldn't come. And, and a lot of our members have been well prepared for this. A lot of them destocked and you know, changed their plans accordingly. And they're, they're actually doing better than if they um, had rain come. So sometimes it's better to take bad news rather than always look for the good news because a lot of the time, a lot of the news out there um, people tend to work around hope rather than reality. Uh, with our service, we, we work on reality and we might tell you a lot of bad news, but generally it's, it's the best outcome. So head to the website, check out our long range forecast. We've just done a, a six month review and forecasts also extend out to uh, the end of June, 2026. Regarding June, there is a broad wet anomaly that'll occur in the last two weeks of the month into the northern tropics. So for tropical persons, and this may affect your winter planting and crop rotations and whatnot, uh, this is a very interesting signal with very high confidence. So yeah, headed to the website. If you need, uh, need a hand with your subscription, send me a message. I'm here to work with you uh, to get the best outcome for your farm. Cheers.